So I don't know from the year device. I see the bad boost machine. I don't know if they're the drifter. Yeah, so you know the place now. And the machine is looking good. Like always. A lot of work has went on from the last vlog right the last vlog i dropped in the engine but unfortunately i didn't get the chance to start it due to the fuel setting and the fuel settings isn't completed right now the fuel system isn't completed still so i'm still working on that but due to restrictions of covid 19 and all of that you know with the lockdown and so you have to careful you cannot spend too much right because we don't know when it's going to end if it will continue or whatever so you have to just be prepared also but the love of the project car you just want to just push it more and more but right now everything is looking good the car looks great it sounds great right because i did a start with the turbo i didn't connect it at the time but the turbo sounds good it's supposed good and it's and i think i'm getting boosts around maybe 3000 rpm or something like that because i did a little modification to the turbo so even though it is a big turbo it spools really fast right so that's a little pro right there so if you guys have been if you're a new subscriber you maybe you you haven't seen it um saw the last videos are a couple videos down but the rear of the car is completed let's say that right because we have push rod suspension at the rear uh, we have these wheels right that was sorted out as well so there is this wheel at the rear as well if it's also sorted out right so actually we're at the front of the car now uh, I also went ahead and add bigger front brakes to the car right these are some under ES1 brakes I think um, so that's where we're at with the front of the car originally the car should have been push rod suspension front and back but unfortunately due to space restrictions in the front I'm unable to complete the um, the front push rod suspension I mocked up a let's say um a temporary um front push rod suspension one time and i tried and test it but the space just wasn't there right for the car to get fully compressed the suspension to be fully compressed and everything so i just aborted that and i'm thinking that i will do something a little bit different but it will be effective i haven't found a solution for the front of it for the front suspension but i'm trying to get the right coilovers. if i have the right length coilovers i can do something but that's where i'm at right now but everything else is okay right everything is going great the car looks great it look boost ready it look angry with the intercooler and everything yeah man it's coming on nice so a lot of things we're going to do into the in this vlog right now i'm starting out the turbo um the safety mesh to ensure that it doesn't pick up any debris leaves sticks twigs anything even insects anything can damage the turbo will be stopped right here so i'm starting out that i'm also going to deal with the wastegate um the wastegate i think it originally came with 14 psi spring so i have to revert down to a smaller psi i think i maybe will run about 7 psi right that should be safe enough for the stock internals and make a lot of pow pow and you don't know anything shot pop 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 so -to -to. everything will be there man yeah so that's where we're at right now so as the videos continues how would that man we now play this here Um, I will go ahead and disassemble the wastegate right now. It's, uh, it has in the 14 pound spring, right? So I will remove that 14 pound spring and I will also add a lower PSI spring for the bill, right? So I'll go straight into it right now. As I've said, I would explain in a detail farm how the wastegate works, right? So, 
first of all there would be a spring on the diaphragm right pressing down the crown would be closed like this right so once that the crown is completely closed pressure will be building up here but if you're using the wastegate spring pressure or if you are using the um, a boost control you would connect here connect vacuum here right so if you are just using the wastegate spring pressure in which I'm using um, say you use a 7 pound spring you put this right here um, cover it with the crown and once your boost builds up to the amount that you need which is 7 pounds or whatever if the diaphragm is working properly it should push up like this and all of the exhaust gases will be released and the pressure in your exhaust system will drop and that is how the boost will be controlled right you have electronic wastegate where it is electronically actuated with the actuator it's the same concept but it's electronically activated right but this is a manual wastegate setup so that's it i would them the drifter class now I'll play this here yeah so right now installing back the wastegate on and i'm telling you, the thing with the v-band is that it's so easy to simply put on and to take off it's no problem if, if, if it was with the flange right now you would have to have your tools and all of that to select and to tighten up back but with the v one it's just a simple one click on and off just a little nut and bolt and all in key it's a nice simple mock up and i like the v bands i also have my v band way um exhaust system as well right it's a pretty simple setup Yeah, so right now, I also have the V-band settings for the exhaust, right, for the exhaust system, yeah, so it's a fully V-band system, um, 2.5 in, yeah, simple drop on, take off, no stress thing, just put on, clamp, exhaust down on, you want to twist the exhaust left or right right a simple mix i like v-bands they are pretty simple yeah something like that yeah so it'll be something like that so just a little welding to get it on but everything is okay right now looks beautiful and as i've said it's a pretty simple um v-bands that can be twisted any way in which you want yeah, just tighten and turn and keep it this way up straight anything yeah so that would be the setting so v-band right through yeah nice settings man so i just have to do a little welding on this but i haven't gotten the time yet to do the welding so it's just little welding remaining and then the exhaust system for the turbo will be fully completed yeah all right so everything is piped up right now right so i wire the gauge the boost gauge right here right all the piping is there so i'm going to turn on the engine now for the first time with the boost to hear it sound will i make boost is the turbo too big what's going on right um i will have to look and see if i get little little boost Everything is piped up. Why is, um, blow off valve is set to its low. Um, wastegate, as I've said, is on a low PSI spring. So it's just a steer. Will it start? Let me go ahead and start it. All right, so I need you guys to. Yeah, so I need you guys to tell me how it's sound with the boost. Yeah, boost gauge up and ready. Yeah. So tell me what's going on. I need to know what's going on. I need you guys to type or comment whoosh under the comment section. That drifter, boost. Boost, boost. Let's see why boost gear just set. Sounds good. Yeah. 
The engine is not on any load right now, right? But everything looks like it's working. Go to test the wastegate. If it's open. Looks good. I don't know how that drift is in a man. So anything you may say in a people. Give video a one like man. Subscribe to your thing if you never subscribe it. Touch your bell. And show us a black one so you know so you get the notification. You see me? Yeah man, so we're going back to regular programming. Big up on yourself. Yeah man, so we don't know. We don't see it inside. We will sound good. Yeah, but if you guys notice, the car will not build boost at a standstill. All of the guys who has turbo cars know this, right? Um, once you have a turbo car, unless you guys have um, a external ECU, the aftermarket ECU, Mega Squared AEM or whatever, then you will build boost as an anti-like setup at that standstill. But for a safety precaution, um stock ecu from factory will not let the car build boost at a standstill because it will be under a lot of pressure and it will most likely damage um internal parts over time because you're putting a lot of boost and everything the power is not going anywhere it's just in the engine so most times stock ecu will not build boost unless the engine's engine is under load so that is the reason why you're seeing um I wasn't building boost. I got a little bit, maybe about two psi, right, at a standstill, because the blower valve was opening and the wastegate opened a little bit, right, a little bit, because some little things was in there, like a little, I think it was a little leaf or something, and I saw when I went up to the limit, it pushed out it, so the wastegate opened a little bit. But apart from that, the build is going great right now. The build is going great, right? It's just a little hiccups here and there. I'm still trying to sort out a suspension. I don't know if you guys know a suspension within the length of 15 inches. A coilover within the length below 15 or 15 engine inches to be the most, right? So if you guys can comment on the comment section um, of a coilovers that you guys know that is within the length of 15 inches and below uh, that would help me a lot because i'm trying to try to source i look through so many kylovers i check hondas but the hondas um are not strong enough i try the under ones but they are not strong enough for the front of the car so if you guys can do that comment under the comment section if you think you have a kylover that you're willing to show yeah i will try that one yeah so you guys can also comment where you are from where you're watching from right i know that i have a lot of supporters in the caribbean also the us canada and australia as well several from australia so yeah man big up on yourself so just comment under the comment section where you're from where you're watching from type whoosh and who them yeah now i'm playing this year any one of the catchphrases you want just comment that beside where you're from yeah and show the support yeah man so they both sound good man Nice setup. Yeah man, so I don't know anything said like, share and subscribe. And sure so I put the word out there. That drifter. One in Z Ladder Bill. I would them man. Now I play this here.